<laughs> I can't stop my, I can't stop I'm myself from to, laughing. I'm to face. Harrison, so, oh we're, we're going into the intro, and Harrison just starts going, hoo, 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 hoo. starts going Listen, monkey like, mode on me. I like making monkey noises. But anyone, anyone, anyway, welcome back, everyone, uh, to game three of the day, game seven overall. Clemson, we've already confirmed one team for playoffs, and you'll never, you'll never guess who it is. It's a it's ex karma. It's the, West. the Mexican Pro League team. West. No, they're eliminated. Oh, you're right. Version two. Then. There we go. That's true. Maybe there's they're eliminated. one out there. That's tough. Uh, six karma. Six and zero. Oh. Haven't lost a game yet. Probably will continue to not lose. We've got a couple teams on five wins. A couple in the elimination zone. Actually, well, more than a couple. A bunch in the elimination zone. But we are going to be focusing on two teams with four wins. So they're one away from maybe making it and it's monsters inc versus turbo and co turbo and co we know very well turbo john rethink and psychosis discover carnage v psychosis is spelled wrong that's okay uh but the Sack. roster today is actually completely different because they have like a 11 man roster it's actually turbo whitlock karn mikey and ana de armas at 100 thieves on the other is? side of things monsters inc used to be frijoles that's native evil clouds hud placata and stuh yeah. Well, I'm going to get it right this time. At least uh, my bow to Mikey is to say Mikey the whole day and so that Harrison yes. doesn't yell at me and slap me on the wrist. But we're going to a cafe, Harrison. And, well, Woo. a very good map, honestly. I'm excited like to cafe. see not Oregon and not Villa and not Clubhouse. We're on cafe. Oh, my and God, dude. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, I was I was talking about how yeah. much I hate Oregon, but, like, now Villa is, like... Everyone I, I'm is with you. Playing Villa. Everyone plays Villa, and I feel like it's gonna get that way with Chalet. Now Chalet's still fresh, but everyone seems to be migrating to Chalet as well as kind of like yeah. the other stock standard map. So I feel like in a few months' time, when Chalet becomes the new like Oregon and Villa, then that's gonna kind of end up happening. But on into Cafe, at least you know we get some variety, and I Ooh. feel like that's one great thing we've had throughout all of the SCS quals so far mm -hmm. is variety. Like I haven't casted a single Oregon game on any of the channels. Me? I don't know about oh, wait, you. One, I casted a uh, six Karma deprived on Oregon, but that's definitely not a normal Oregon. That's pretty damn good. You yeah. know what I mean? To like it, to those not... guys were swinging everything. Yeah, well, that's that's six Karma. Uh, that team definitely very confident with their gun skill and. You know what? I don't put shame to them for doing it because they're damn yep. good players. So why not go go monkey mode as we entered the stream with and go about with that? But we'll, we'll talk about the bands. Flores, Nook, Zami, Valkyrie. Uh, very common bands on or on Cafe, rather. Uh, yesterday when I was casting on the B stream, the exact same bands. And I casted Cafe twice in a row. So a third time in a row now, effectively, throughout the last two nights. But again, the same exact bands. <laughs> Sad that a zombie's gone. But uh Amira's up. Stu is immediately gonna play her. You know what's funny too? Uh Defense. regarding maps. Cafe used to be played a lot more. I'm surprised we don't see it more often. I feel like cafes, like in general, kind of fallen out of favor. It it really has, and especially with I, I think you need a little bit more strategy really on cafe, and I think teams that don't prefer to go with the strategic gameplay strive away from this map there's a lot of different ways you can hold the map and it effectively you have to work really well as a team to clear out some of these priority positions notably pixel being one of those as you see hud setting up that shield right there for that coverage as well as bathroom that's also a primary huh. focus vantage point so you gotta be able to make sure you're also holding your runouts and your jump outs as well so it takes a lot of a team to really be able to play a map like fa and Sta has set up the uh, the bathroom mirror, but not bathroom in the piano, bathroom in the freezer to watch the cigar door. And no bathroom mirror facing piano at all. He'll dedicate the other one to uh, to back freezer uh, by pallets. So uh, interesting mirror play to not have one facing the typical way in bathroom. Uh, we'll have to see if it works out. There is someone to play off of it if Placata doesn't get cleared out, but, I mean, he probably will be eventually because there's no Jaeger in play. It's just him and the Aruni. 
So Turbo and Co. start up on the roof. They've already got the hatches open. They'll EMP the ceiling in order to get rid of a lot of those Wamai discs. And it works seemingly for uh, several of them. I don't know if it got all of them. It definitely got some. And yeah, there we go. The free nade for Whitlock to come in, clear that shield. And now Placata's in danger. Well, it's an incredible demonstration by Mikey of why Thatcher is so good on a map like Cafe. You can go up to the ceiling, especially on this top floor bomb site, and throw those EMPs. They've got a very large range. You can't do the same with EMP impacts. Wow. Well, Turbo is going to find one with the nade and Whitlock to follow up quickly onto the player through White Hallway. So a 3v5 here for Turbo and Co. already in the advantage. HUD trying to get aggressive on this player on the white window. May even elect to hop out. Is I'm not sure if there's a claymore ready. The bait comes through, but unfortunately the twitch will fall. And HUD able to get that frag, but he's left his team all alone on site. Mikey will sweep on in and through bar now. Looking to find Native, whose position has been alerted to. Alibi nowhere in sight to be able to help them out. As they've rotated up the white stairs, but Whitlock waiting in arms for the Alibi. And it's a beautiful round for Turbo and Co. It seems like uh, the defense is going to request a re-host due to server issues. And um, that round was just a, a beautiful display of a pixel clear, right? Starting with the Thatcher up top, the radius is just so huge. It goes all the way down, gets those with my disc, free nade, Placata stuck, follow-up nade, gets the kill. And once that bathroom player supporting Placata, trying to get his teammate out of there alive, figures all is lost, right? He tries to rotate away, and then gets shot through the bathroom head holes because they had to use the reinforcement on the other side to protect the mirror in the bathroom facing Sigardo. Just a weird setup ending re ending up really biting them because I was watching them reinforce that and I was like, doesn't the reinforcement go on the other side normally? I, I saw that too. Yeah, I thought, and I was, and, <laughs> yeah, and then like... and then my point got my point got proven. Yeah, right I, after. I, I don't know why they didn't put a reinforcement on that other side of the wall to be able to protect the player that would be well, sitting on the mirror. Is like, if you just open that wall, which is kind of what happened, then not only is White Hall exposed, but also or to a deeper angle at that. And usually you'll see that wall get opened up with a shield play. So maybe a player just wasn't ready and they ended up actually um, throwing off guard. I'm, not, I'm really not too sure. No idea. But while we deliberate on that, We'll throw it back to the B stream real quick while we get the rehost all settled. Hopefully, we've got all the players back soon, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the cafe game right after this. Good work, essentially, just being that set kind of flank watch in a sense, and just kind of lurking down below, and just able to get a lot of nice kills for his team, and just opened up a lot of space. And above the law, like you mentioned, not playing super aggressive, it's something we typically see out of them. So, definitely gonna have to pick up the pace if they want to like have any say in the rounds yeah i think aggression here for above the law is going to be key to countering able esports they've shown that they're able to isolate players fairly well so in order for them to counter that it might be beneficial for them to isolate players back if you can isolate the <laughs> opponents faster uh then you can then you get to kill them first and it's kind of how this game is has been chalking up lately so seeing above the law sitting back especially at a man deficit um little bit concerning to me, but I reckon, I mean, right off the bat here, Spy looking for this Mon Peak, yeah. They're going to be looking for something a little bit different. Able Esports, though, not going to fall for this Mon Peak, because I don't think anyone even spawned on that side of the map. No, it certainly doesn't look that way, as we already see one Lion Call off the board, just having to freeze everyone in place. But we're seeing a more of a side over clear from Study, just making sure that they do not have any... Trying to get a little of these rumors off the board as soon as possible. But this may just kind of slow down the entire take from Abel, as this, even though they did have a very fast pace in the first round, it's going to take a lot of time to try to clear all of these positions, because there's a lot of places you can sit and hide. Well, that is true. They have shown themselves to be very capable in the past, as well as just the fact that this is an old map at this point. Obviously, it's not Clubhouse, but a lot of those positions are going to be a little bit more predictable. That being said, above the law is not really opting to extend very hard. Instead, we're back. Quickly Yay. host. Turbo and Co. up 1-0 because of some weird reinforcement angle play from Monsters, Inc. And then all their site players just kind of died after that. They'll rotate down to reading room and fireplace. Not wanting to deal with the top floor any longer. But you still have to extend up there 
Anyway, sorry to tell you, Monsters, Inc. So they'll bring the Aruni, they'll bring the Jaeger, they'll still have plenty of utility denial, only this time, most of the defense is going to be peeled back towards the palace and cocktail yeah, side of things. It's a lot harder to hold that top floor of the map, really, with Thatcher on the board on Cafe. That's why you see him banned out so often, but more teams are electing to ban out Flores, and there's more counters to Flores than Thatcher, so sometimes it puzzles me is, you know, Thatcher, sure, we've seen his play come back and his ban rate go way down since the installment of EMP impact grenades, but yet again, this is some of the detriments to teams not continuing to kind of stick with the old tried and true of banning Thatcher, especially on a map like Cafe where you can really take advantage of those EMPs. Hmm. I wonder how Monsters Inc. upstairs hold is going to go this time. They're dedicating many bodies up there. Three of them, to be exact. Wait, never mind. I didn't see Evil Class. He's uh, having a run out. And he didn't get it. All right. He dealt, what, like one, two a bullet? bullet? Maybe, yeah, one Maybe bullet's two. worth of damage to Turbo. Maybe two. I mean, hey, damage didn't take any back. No harm, no foul, whatever. He's back in. Wasted some time. Oh, by the way, so. uh, you know who uh, you know who Yuji Naka is? Who? Wait, who? Who is this guy? Uh, Yuji Naka. This is this is leading into something, and I'm not a fan. So, he was uh, he was the former head of the Sega Sonic team, and was like the lead programmer of the original Sonic. And I think he was working on the new Dragon Quest. He just got arrested for insider training. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just saw it. My friend just sent it to me, and he's like, "Bro." So anyway, I, I thought you were leading me up into like, uh, you know, one of those fun no. DN jokes. Brother just, no, brother just got arrested. No, full on insider trading. For insider moment. insider trading on the new Dragon Quest game, I guess. C4 goes up, and wow, <laughs> instantly shot by Whitlock. So no luck there for native and by the way that's the uh that's the only c4 and on a site where c4s are pretty damn powerful considering how long it takes to clear in through bar that kind of sucks for the defense it's gonna make things much more difficult for these defenders still here with the mr will be able to cause some damage but as their shield slowly gets burnt away here by the attackers you see these charges coming on through, opening up more of those walls, more of those reinforcements going away for Stu, so that defensive setup no longer existing upstairs virtually, as Stu has now fallen away, and complete control of the top floor for Turbo Co., although they are, are not entirely positive of yet. Nearly a team kill on to Hat. Turbo get a little antsy and aggressive, but Hat will remain alive as they work their way down the white stairs. Might be able to catch the Aruni off guard, but no, they're hanging out behind the reinforcement so they're safe but turbo and co seem primed and ready for an execute they've already dropped their way in a pillar and now we're looking to get aggressive but hud might be able to sting from behind Sta stings from above though kill on to mikey actually no he's not above he's still down on the side i thought maybe he retook upstairs but it seems like he's just playing in uh in sight yeah he's just chilling and chilling and dining but here's the flank Native catches Karn, there's no drone to watch. Whitlock taking damage from inside the site as well. HUD finally strikes, but Hat trades back. Two kills of his own, but they leave Native upstairs to his own devices. He drops Case! That's the kill that he needed! Turbo able to pick it up, but he's got to fall down that laundry hatch and gets down by Evil Clouds. Hat there for a potential trade, he'll get it, but no time remains. HUD shoots him in the back anyway, and Monsters Inc. by the game. Incredible flank. Really, the round was won from Native. Being able to get upstairs, get behind the attackers, past any of those flank drones, went up there. They downed Karn. They weren't able to fully finish the kill into the ace, but still, it wasted so much of the attacker's time. And then even still, went and got the kill, dropped the diffuser for a second time in the round, forced a late hatch drop with the diffuser. And, well, when you have to drop in a laundry and you haven't even cleared out reading, essentially, you're dead. There's there's no shot for you as a defender or as an attacker rather, and you've still got to plant the bomb. I mean, it's it just was never going to happen for Turbo and Co. An incredible round by Native, and you know, although one kill, that one kill wasted so much time. Well done to uh. Stu as well, because Turbo and Co. Were, were looking to get that execute started, and the kill on the Mikey as well kind of delayed that. 
So great job to Monsters, Inc. We now find ourselves tied one to one and moving down to Kitchen. Frost now coming into play. A frost mat over towards restaurant window. That's a little cheeky from Native. I'm sure probably a frost mat in coat check too. Bit of an odd shield over in the uh, kitchen bunker. Capcan also coming into play along with Oryx. They're going to be on the duo roam, I guess, for Monsters, Inc. And Turbo and Co. Mm, I was going to say maybe taking top down, but it's actually looking like a bakery direct. Well, plenty of traps coming out from the defense, but they may just be avoided if Turbo and Co. do elect to take very directly under the bomb site. Native will fall early as the Frost has lost their life. Turbo here looking for any aggressive peeks from the defenders onto those piano or stage windows. And, well, that could have been what punished Native, but the Baker wall already getting opened on up here by Turbo and Co. Card electing to bring the Habana and maybe not a larger breacher for Bakery. A little puzzling. What? Turbo is going to blow themselves up on the balcony? Maybe they were looking for a nade below, but that's not going to be the case. Oh, did he get bugged? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I. Man, well, who knows? Ugh. Yeah, at this point, dude, at this point with this game, it said it, it wouldn't <laughs> let him throw it. So I'm going to assume he got bugged as a player upstairs, stopping Whitlock from entering through prep, but the shots come out, and he reveals his location. Meanwhile, Hat has actually worked his way all the way up Whiskey, and is looking to get a kill maybe through that double door, along with another player coming in through Kocek. Mikey checks the top ceiling floor holes. Doesn't see anyone just yet, but there is someone who can play off of it. Smoke sitting behind Bunker gets spotted out. Mikey, a kill onto HUD. That's one of those roamers dead the oryx and he might go hunting for the cap can upstairs we'll have to see what's in store for no. him as there is hats play coming in taking that smoke off guard taking a lot of damage from inside freezer though but evades dying in the meantime the plant is starting to get down from carnage b even though hat dies and corn he gets killed from above the plant attempt now foiled. I thought Mikey was going to go for the hunt, but he ended up coming back downstairs and just supporting horizontally. Whitlock gets a nice nade and that deals no damage to Stah. I thought he was at least going to get some chip off, but no, he evades it. Into the site come these two players. Whitlock takes the fight. Stah doesn't expect the push, but the diffuser still dropped, maybe in the view of Evil Clouds, but the cat can since backs off. The C4 to feign presence from above, but Mikey's watching this hat like a hawk. A drone comes up. I don't know if it did it go up. I think it I fell short. Drone. Yeah, I think it went down, and he gets the pre-fire. Willock's got to win the one v one. Coming off the plant, the drone at least spots him. Willock knows oh. where he is, and Evil Clouds can't win the fight. The Cap can almost single-handedly winning the round from above for his team. Willock wins the one v one, and Turbo and Code go up. A near incredible retake by Monsters Inc. and Evil Clouds. Almost able to clutch out that 1v2, but losing the round just short of Intel. I really think that that's what propelled Turbo and Co. to win this round. You saw the drone that was pre-placed behind the coffee mat, or black mat, some people will call it, where the smoke was sitting. But when the smoke hopped up on the table, the call came through. It's an easy swing for a hat. The smoke's not going to be able to hit that flick. There's, there's no chance in hell. Maybe if they've got the shotgun out and have some incredible reaction time and hat really whiffs bad, but... I don't expect that out of a player as capable as Hat is. And so, well, netted a free kill for them. They walked on in. And Turbo Co. maybe a little too over aggressive. They didn't account for the cap can that was upstairs. Evil Clouds obviously causing plenty of damage to the attack. But in the end, it really came down to information. And Turbo Co. just had more than Monster Inc. Now Turbo Co. will be attacking the top floor again. No mirror this time. Let's go. No Mira for Monsters, Inc. Interesting. And uh, they have chosen nope. to full reinforce bathroom. So they won't be dying to that white uh, that white hall angle this time. But Evil Clouds down below looking for a spawn peak from behind the barricade. Won't find it. But there's also... I mean, yeah, they reinforce bathroom, but there's also no shield for Pocata to play with. I was with. going to point Sorry. that out. I was <laughs> like, there's no deployable shields. Confused. Uh, I'm confused. Interesting. 
just it doesn't seem like Monsters Inc. has a great grasp of how to play Cafe. I mean, one of the most common things you have to bring as a defender is a deployable shield. Instead, they're electing to full reinforce off Fraser. They full reinforce off Bathroom and are trying to play so far wow. back. But that's not going to matter if Mikey just walks in below and completely dominates the role. Monsters Inc. already down two members yet again early on on their bar cocktail defense. And that's from the roam that's not even from burn and clear and utility being used by turbo co no it's just straight pure bullets and firepower and oh mikey able to grab two early frags i don't know if you heard it either but uh the first guy mikey killed he just walked up the white stairs and shotgunned him with the skeleton <laughs> key so always entertaining to hear or see kills like that going down placata actually deals damage to mikey through the wall and kills his teammate turbo so at least it's something back for the defense Placata still plays on these white stairs. Turbo and Co., despite the surprising lack of piano or pixel presence, still choosing to go bottom up with that buck, and it's going to work out pretty well. Had who is pitching from the back gets a kill of his own. Karn gets a kill through the white window, and Stug can't land oh. any killing blows despite three players being in his line of sight. Karn somehow is able to connect with the last kill, and Turbo and Co. take another round. Poor play from Monsters Inc., really. I mean... Turbo and Co. just running around with their guns and swinging and shooting. That's really all they've needed to do. Not even using a lot of utility. You saw a couple nades get thrown by Turbo and Co. But in the end, it just came to Monsters Inc. not sitting still, not playing behind their utility, and not playing together as a team for refrags. Obviously, Mikey making the better play down below with the shotgun up the white stairs and then switching to the primary, so the C8 from the skeleton key and nabbing those kills. And... Things just fell short for Monsters Inc. yet again. They're back to reading though, so this is the only bomb site they won. They won it off of good time stall and denial. And well, if they play behind their utility, they might be able to get away with that again. But as of recent trend, it doesn't look like that could be the case this time around. Lakata's not happy. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what he's upset about. I mean, they're really not playing behind their utility. I feel like it's more of a, a player issue <laughs> than a game I issue. Is right. But... Packet loss, packet loss, packet loss. Ah. Uh, just get better it's also, it's not. It's not packet loss, it's packet loss. Just get, just get better internet. Wow, hat, hat does not care. <laughs> Skill issue. I mean, hat's probably thankful, bro. This guy's got packet loss, that just means he's an easier kill. For real. Oh. HUD going for a spawn peak doesn't find anything. There are three guys on the top floor for this defense to try and defend. It did work out last time. Took a while for Turbo and Co. to fully clear in, and eventually that flank upstairs punished them severely. No hard flank watch for Turbo and Co. this time, but hopefully better presence on the flank drums. Well, it's definitely Mikey, obviously, being very cautious of that white doorway or that bottom white stairs doorway. A lot of players will get aggressive on the defense and try to peek anyone repelling on those south windows and it's a common window to play on that south white stair or that south the white hall window which kind of has a direct viewpoint in the bathroom you can throw a nade or two in there and if there's no ads's it could be dangerous native though with the c4 i'm not sure exactly where that landed stuh as well <laughs> just right. deleting whitlock from the lobby is well, two players have fallen now for Turbo and Co. So the opening picks come to Monsters Inc. They maintain that advantage, bring down another member of Turbo and Co. And although quick work has been made to get into the building and into Piano, you've lost two bodies already. Huge start for Monsters Inc. here looking to put another reading room win in the books. Turbo gets the first kill for his team on stud. The man holding down Cocktail as a Rooney. That'll prompt evil clouds to fall off. And that's the rest of the top floor clear. That allows Hat in if he, unless he chooses to just watch the hatch from above, but there's no real angle to play off of. Now, they've got the vertical angles opened up by the defense to their advantage. HUD is going to have to skate away as Turbo is alive. Don't have, doesn't have to worry about a C4 either because Native has already used his. He is free to sledge as he pleases. And look at this. Four or five sledgehammer hits? And all of the defense have been forced to move out of reading. It's the Wait. easiest 
Hat? That's the easiest, softest structure you can make. Uh, hats Whoa. dropped in the freezer, and the Habana is just dropped on into the bomb site. No defenders anywhere near to be able to do anything about it. All of a sudden, Turbo and Co are in the driver's yeah, seat here. The oh, diffuser has gone down now. Hat missing Whoa. the shots on the player through the red hallway. Turbo will goop a stomp on a native and now looks to find another, but gets flanked by HUD with 30 seconds left on this counter diffuse for the defense. They still have numbers advantage, but is that the case? Hat will go upstairs and reclaim vertical control, bring down clouds as Karn is left alone in the bomb site. If the defense has the read on and into this, they may be able to do something about it, but no, Hat's rotated back into laundry to help their teammate out. Karn will hit the shots onto the player in the red hallway now as they're left alone. Hat able to recover the round as well, and Turbo and Co makes something out of nothing after going into a 3v5 deficit. Come away with the diffuser being planted and a round victory. All right. I can't believe he was allowed to do that. There was a, literally a dude chilling on white stairs and he didn't call out to his team, hey, one dropped laundry. How do you not hear that? Maybe he um, did and he just didn't want to swing. Maybe the audio was masked uh, by a breach charge, a sledgehammer hit, maybe a nade. But maybe. still, I, I, I mean, that's I mean, puzzling. That also doesn't happen without immaculate sledge work from Turbo. I mean, he cleared that site <laughs> in like 15 seconds. He did some like, everyone serious destruction. out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Hat just drops in. Hat's like, hey, hey, Karn. Karn, come here. <laughs> and then Karn drops and just starts getting the plant down for free. For free. And that's what no smoke does to a, does to a team. So, um, all right, Monsters Anchor. There. Back on bar. Oh no. And they still. All right, they have. Okay, they, they, have, have, one. One, they have one. They have one. They have one shield. <laughs> but they also. They also don't have a smoke. So. No smoke, no Meister on this site. Like neither of them. And only one C4. I feel like could be a little rough. But, uh. You know, we'll see how it goes. Cloud's going to try to run out of reception, or maybe he's waiting for some of that Turbo & Co. information to come on through. And maybe Turbo & Co. will go for that lower take, but I don't think that's going to be the case. They haven't brought the buck this time around, so I think they're like, hey, Pixel's pretty easy to clear. Piano won't be a difficult task for us, as we're a pretty smart team, and we know how to use our utility together as five. And I think that's going to be the case, is Monsters, Inc., well, they've extended downstairs. They're waiting for Turbo and Co. to go on below, but that's not going to be the case. It could be a quick take, too, as you see Turbo prepped with the sledgehammer ready to go. Do they just drop on in? Nope. It'd be funny if they did. Sadly, wait, maybe? maybe? He's thinking about maybe. it. Maybe. Oh, he's just, oh yep. here he goes. There Two goes. of them. Hat and Turbo. They're just coming on in. There's what? no Banshee set up to stop this from doing it. It's on the cigar door. Instead of being in the middle. What a troll from the bell. Turbo going to get blindsided by Placata. So at least they stopped the sledge. Willocko made his way into Piano. And Hat tucked on the corner waiting out this shotgun. He knows it's dangerous if he swings. He's just playing the waiting game. So a gambit from Turbo. Not working out in the end, thanks to uh, some missed shots. No way. But he gets the kill. He gets one, but Placata, quick on the refrag, makes his way back in the bathroom, and Whitlock will be the next man to take the fight, but he backs off. They know about the red stairs flank. Karn's going to come in, but he looks the wrong way. Evil Clouds gets both. Traded back by Mikey, but it's a 1v3 now for Mikey Nam. And he's got one in bathroom, one rotating all the way back by the double door that he catches. If he wins this 1v1 on against Placata, he can win oh. the round, but he doesn't look at bathroom. Despite his teammate just dying from that angle, he doesn't think to check it. And somehow Monsters Inc. still take the round. I I don't know how they escaped that round of life. I mean, they had no one in cocktail, and uh, Turbo nearly just scurried his way on into the other bomb site. Imagine if there was a Maru on the board for Turbo and Co. And they swung in through Heaven window or through that new window. And just walked on in a cocktail. There was no one. There is no defender near that bomb site, really. I mean, Fraser, sure, it's close, but you have the advantage there as an attacker being able to just hold the angles. Defenders would walk on through and near crosshairs, but Turbo just not fast enough to be able to get their way in a cocktail. And they just barely got caught out. I think almost if they went in a little more silent and actually didn't shoot, I think they got scared and thought they were spotted by the defense. And well, they rushed. Their, their plan of entry. They might have been able to get away with getting into Cocktail and wrapping around the defense, but timing and maybe a lack of discipline on the end of Turbo.
Could definitely be. I know he's still, uh, I'm pretty sure he's still a pretty young player. We see uh, young players like that all the time. Kind of lack a bit of trigger discipline. But, um, now I guess we got a chance to uh, see Mira played correctly. Yeah, this is a more typical Mira defense. <laughs> yeah, with the, the normal reinforcement on bathroom, the Mira all the way in back freezer. Except, uh, where's the second one going? Is it going to be the crouch Mira? Maybe the like cocktail in, one. And uh, cocktail, yeah. That's that's where, where I is imagine. He? Observer! He hasn't put it Look down yet. Oh, now he's putting it down. I, my yeah. guess is that it's in cocktail. I think you can hear Karn shotgunning from over yeah. there. Evil Cloud's on the Ying. An operator we haven't seen yet in this oh, match. Skylight, and come on. I Tell me we, it's a Skylight play. I, I would hope so. I think Clouds is literally just going to sit here on the Skylight the entire round. Because you can smoke off the cocktail mirror from Skylight. You can smoke off... Yeah, there's the second mirror. And cocktail. You can smoke off that freezer mirror from Skylight as well. And you just throw flashbangs down. You might even be able to blind the mirror player. So you might be able to get away with something. Hat, though, looking to get away with something even a little more crazy as they shoot the flight drone and scurry on away as they've been spotted out. But so far, 60 seconds have passed and nothing much has come of it yet. Turbo has a very small angle to use that shield, and how the oh. hell does Karn win that? They had the pings oh. and everything, and Stu gets freaking smoked, and Hat is now in Cigar. He's made his way up, and he destroys another drone. A C4 follow-up, a double kill for Carnage Basketball. Four versus two in the favor, or sorry, four versus three. Five versus three. I looked at the score and said 4v2. They haven't Five opened versus three. Wall. The piano wall they haven't opened yet? The top oh, red no, not wall? not the shotgun play. Not the C4! Oh my god, I got shot. Oh, oh. How? One HP? What? Oh, he didn't believe it in enough. Mikey, nah, Mikey is fuming. I know for a fact, Mikey is fuming right now. That's, Holy crap! Oh, what is happening? They'd have just pancake dropped. <laughs> like, they don't Wait, know how to. Head's still here? here? What is happening? Freebie. It's a Wait! Oh. <laughs> the trigger discipline from Hat! No way! Wait, Hatticus! He's gonna get away with two! Oh, he finds he one! Oh, no. He misses. Oh my! What the hell? God, what a what an insane <laughs> series of <laughs> events. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I could have written that one down. Like that's a story. That's like a whole novel right there of, of just oh my god crazy shenanigans that happened. It it all started with the the whiff or that not the whiff of the shotgun, but rather just the shotgun not doing the damage and a prone drop of the sky or of the hatch rather. Hat able to get one that jumps into a frost mat. Yes, the <laughs> reviver, but not the guy down that can't even shoot back. And then he swings, misses his fight. Eventually, the frost able to close out, but. You can't even break that down. There's so many different things that happened in that moment. As we were talking about Mikey being upset, maybe, about a shotgun and not believing it in enough to hit all the pellets. And then it just turns into mass chaos. What the hell? Definitely. I mean, <laughs> and it all started with a Carnage V 2K completely destroying it caused carnage stuff. it caused carnage then, i'll tell you what and then the c4 <laughs> god damn all right so turbo and co 5-2 they uh move on to reading no mira in play this time despite her you know also being really 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 good on this site but figuring they don't need her they'll bring the Wamai and the aruni instead no smoke since they're playing so heavily on the upstairs and uh just like monsters inc though they're only bringing one C4 on the lone Carnage B who will be playing in sight. And right now, from last round to this round, Hat's job has just been Drone Hunter. He's already got a Twitch drone. I mean, that, this early? That's pretty good. Yeah. Clouds is down to one piece of information, and that's that second shock drone, which will be deployed now and somewhere across the map. Is They'll be able to destroy a little bit of the uh, defender utility, but not nearly as much with two. And uh, there are still EMPs, which will be on the board. So at least Placata will be able to use those and hopefully disable some of those electronic gadgets for a little bit. Hat, though, again, being that pain in the neck roll, trying to walk up the red stairs, you might have a chance, but no, it's Mikey who actually lose their life. They forfeited it to the couches and the piano repel will end up 
knocking him down. So a C4, though, could come here from Karin and could go absolutely massive if it lands in the right spot. There's three players in here right now. The C4 comes oh. through, but it misses just a little bit short. It will do plenty of damage to Clouds, but not bring them down or out of the lobby. Oh, hat no though. way. One no and way. two as the ace gets on the drone. He can't get the third. Evil Clouds refrags. But he got the two players who were full HP, and Whitlock comes up to support. Finishes off the one HP Twitch. Is looking for more as HUD dancing with fire right now. Whitlock goes in for the initial peak, misses the shots, but still forces the Zofia to come off. Native sends a nade through, but it does not hit. Instead, he takes a little bit of damage and allows Whitlock to fall back, and there's still two players upstairs. Him and Turbo. Carnage V just sitting down on the site, sitting pretty. Waiting for his roamers to either fall back or call that they're pushing him because right now this top floor clear is doing all the work. Turbo and Coral are just toying around with Monsters Inc. at this point. They can just continue to run around them, running circles across the map through the white hall, continuing to apply that piano pressure. C4s from below as well still are a looming issue now. No more in the pocket of Karn, so they'll be tasked with holding an angle with their weaponry, but native. Is electing to take a different plan of attack yeah, along with their teammate HUD who has joined them now is well they've decided to evict the top floor but no now they're splitting up HUD will be approaching the top floor but just drops right back down to pillars so an alternative route to get to the same exact spot as their teammate they were looking to actually entry in the reading which I don't think there's anyone they're ready for it no Karn is and they'll take an aggressive gunfight with HUD who will lose a little bit of HP it's gonna lose more as they walk on through this gate and the Lucy gadget will go off HUD ends up taking down Karn so the diffuser has been dropped now across the map HUD no more time left in the round for them as Turbo takes the swing and finishes out the Zofia and Turbo and Co send themselves on a match point Karn not happy with that death <laughs> And, uh, I mean, they're still on match point, though. Six to two. Quite the... Quite the quite the fight for Monsters, Inc. to try and pull together. Uh, HUD, this isn't like... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Ugh. What a match. Yeah, pr pretty, pretty large deficit here. Four rounds. Defense four rounds in a row. For Monsters, Inc. to push this to overtime. And Turbo and Co., well... They're bringing the thorn. They're bringing the cap can. Traps aplenty. And they'll probably be roaming as well as we find ourselves on kitchen. Two shields for the defense. More than we've seen in any round for Monsters Inc. I'm pretty sure when they were on the defense. They're bringing the thermite though. And maybe, just maybe, that means they will also be going for a bakery direct. I, I would hope so here. For Monsters Inc., I think that's going to be their best plan of action is to just go directly in a bakery. And as long as they do a good job of holding their flanks, which they've been pretty miserable at, they've not done a great job of holding flanks. But if they're able to do so, then at least Turbo and Co. can't continue to run at them. But I, I think Turbo and Co. will just continue to do so anyway because they keep winning their gunfights, obviously. Had able to pick off two there. Now, they weren't looking at him, but I'm sure even if they were, he was still probably winning at least one, if not both of those. So... Uh, who knows at this point? Obviously, a direct take here from Monsters, Inc., so they're looking to get on into Bakery, get that wall open, and get in sight as fast as possible, avoid any of this vertical pressure that will be made, but phrase their task with clearing out an deployable shield as well as the alibi here. Mikey holding it down. Wow! And then Mikey gets... <clears throat> That's or, sorry, not Mikey. Whitlock getting freaking obliterated. Turbo, though, has a response on the evil clouds. Mikey looking for more. And a slim angle from oh. Turbo working in his favor. HUD deals damage, but it's not a heady. Hat just Hat just freaking what? swings the double door? What? And gets a kill? Bro, Hat does not care. Stylis refrags Turbo, trying to play off the same exact angle as Hat gets another one, and Karn is just watching the hallway. Alright. So uh Hat is him, quite clearly. And there was nothing. That Monsters Inc. could do about it. Nope. That's the game summarized. Pretty much. Uh, honestly, Turbo and Co. just kept swinging, and there was no answer for Monsters Inc. They couldn't do anything about it, and oh, well, if you swing, you'll succeed. At, at least that's the motto of Turbo and Co. right now. Hat obviously hitting oh. uh, plenty of shots and winning plenty of gunfights. And if you I, If you swing and you win the fight, then you succeed.
I guess, yeah. I guess I think that's a very important distinction. That, there are a lot of teams that is who better. do that. And then they lose, and, they just, and they and miss, they and they die. make a fool of themselves. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong, Harrison. You're not wrong. Well, Turbo and Co. look pretty damn good. Obviously, they've locked themselves in at five wins now, so they're very close yeah. to, to securing. I believe if they win the next round, they'll guarantee a spot into closed qualifiers, and yes. I wouldn't be shocked to see them in closed calls again. They obviously had an early exit last time uh, in closed calls last week, but I think there will be better results for Turbo and Co. They look very strong, obviously against another four and two team in Monsters Inc. And well, I think Turbo and Co. We could just see them into SCS into the main season. Yeah, now that their nemesis Burnt Turkey is no longer <laughs> is in, gone, uh, is already in the in the league, doesn't need to be in the qualifier anymore. Then maybe, maybe they'll make it in, unless of course they end up getting seeded with uh, with Six Karma. Man, I feel I feel so bad for the three teams who are like, yeah, guys, we qualified for closed, let's get it, and then they're. And then they're seated with Six Karma, and they just lose. I'm gonna. I feel really That's bad for these suck. for those three teams. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, let me see right before we uh before we cut to break. Let me see if there are any other important games that have finished in round seven. No. Nope. Which is no, good. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of glad that at least most of the games are are going long, and they'll be good competitive games. Hopefully. Yep. The negative side of that though is that we can't update you. So maybe we will. Uh, once we come back for round eight, but that's it. We got one game left. One game. And it's going to be a little bit of a longer break because this game finished pretty fast and we're like one of three games done. So it's going to be a decently long break. So we'll throw up the B stream. I think they're still uh, they're still happening. Oh, we take it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with round number eight after the B stream is done. After all the games are done. Oh, it's on a double, though, and he finds a third to the 